Well, good morning. It's December. It's almost Christmas. Now, I live in a very tiny house. And so I decided I was going to hang up my wall hanging. That's a Christmas tree. And I was going to make little Christmas trees that I could put all over my house. So let's go make some Christmas trees. You can see I have a lot, a lot of green. But I have four different Christmas trees that I want to just do base coats. So I'm just going to have a mixture of all those greens. Now because these have holes in them, lights go through there. I have to be careful not to get a lot of paint in those holes. But I'm just getting a wide flat brush. I'd like to be able to tell you the number on here, but I can't really see it. I think it's a 10 or a 12, something like that. And I never want just green. So I'm just going to grab some of the different greens. I'm going to start up here, kind of dab at different places, and then I'll spread it around. Being careful not to get in those holes. So I have that whole coat on using the different color greens. One of the things you have to remember when you're painting on wood is it, it absorbs very quickly. So if you think you can go back and blend that later, you need to blend it right now. Now the trunk, I'm going to have a different color. I am painting the backside. I had plenty of green paint left and so I thought, why not? use some of that up and it just gives a little bit more time for everything to dry. This one is a triangle canvas and then I'm going to use one of these little canvases for the trunk but it's just got the first coat on so that's drying so in the meantime I'm going to paint this and I'm going to paint the bottoms of all the trees. So I'm just going to put the first coat on the trunk and this is a raw sienna. I am going to add other colors into it but this is a good start and that way I can get all of my base coat done. So here they are drying with another coat on there. Let's see what they look like if I need to add some other colors then I can add bulbs and anything else I want. Now these two are drying. The little ones, I do have to put a second coat on the the base part, but I just need those to dry a little bit more before I add those. I have a whole bunch of little wooden stars. Some of them are going to go on the trees as the star up here. That's what these ones see. There's a little hole in there and that's going to go there. I haven't decided what shape to make it, what angle. And then I'm going to put some little stars on here too. Add in some white in the center and pulling it out. I want to have a lot of different shades of colors in there. And then I'm going to let it dry for a little bit. And I'll add some more yellow and white in the center. For these ones, I'm using a star from Cone. And I'm using some peppermint candies. You just stick a little stick pin through each of the candies, kind of overlapping each one. And you just go all the way up that cone. Now, we did these when we were little. It was just such a fun project every year. And I'm just going to work my way all the way to the top. And it's a peppermint tree and this makes me happy because I remember when I was little. Now I also am going to make another one that is with cinnamon candies and so we have both of them. One of them I'll probably give mom and dad. Now I have this string and they look like little Christmas lights. They don't light up but they'll work perfect around the, the tree that has the cinnamon on it and I also hung up my quilted Christmas tree and I just hung it on one of the doors that we don't really use very often and it's in the living room and I just thought it was a great addition and I just love it. It's very whimsical and fun and perfect for my Christmas. Now here 
are all of the different ones that I got done so far. I haven't got the canvas one done yet. But I love them. And they're just going to be so fun in different places in my house. And I just added different things. I've plugged them in different times in the living room. And it's really a great addition for my holiday season. So I hope you come and make some Christmas trees. Either by yourself or with a family or with the kiddos. And enjoy this holiday season for sure. Happy holidays everybody. I hope you're excited. There's a lot of places in the country that it's very cold. So bundle up, make some Christmas trees, and have some fun.